guys, and welcome back to Veda. Today's Veda is the Tamiya Hummer, which I believe is based on the TA-01-02 chassis, which is kind of um, a little revisions between the two, but uh, it works. So, a little bit of spider webs, but we got the uh, classic Hummer wheels, and uh, the, you know, the tires that they love throwing on all the CCO ones and that, but that's what they used for this. But these rims, I believe, only came only came on this truck. There's a washing machine making some noise there. I thought it was something coming through the wall. But as you can see, it doesn't have the um, stuff on it right now. I actually acquired this a few years ago off of a buddy of mine that lives up around Yorkton. Um, it came up for sale and I bought it and didn't realize that he was that close and uh, and I'm on Facebook and over the years we kind of uh, got more into the RC stuff but I do have some spare windows that I found in another kit not the windshield though just the side ones when I got this uh, some of these lights uh, the military blackout lights they are like mounted up on here and the air cleaner was mounted somewhere else and um, yeah, it took a bit to get it uh, looking correct again. Um, I don't know, it might have been the guy's kid do it or something, but got the antenna mounted. Uh, I believe it's a correct antenna for this. I got uh, mirrors, which they're held on inside. There's a uh, o ring in there and a body clip, and that's what holds those on. Uh, for the body, there's these two clips that grab underneath the, the shock tower thing here and it sits down on the back pegs and that's how the body stays on. Now the, there's the turret on the roof and you can open it up, uh, like take it apart, but it normally does not open. <coughs> so this truck's apart in pieces. There's another spare mirror. Um, there is currently no servo in here. There's a pinion. Here's a, um, a motor holder, kind of like the one I was talking about for yesterday's video there of the uh, the charger on the MO3 chassis. You mount this uh, onto the motor, and then you mount the whole thing in, depending on what pinion you used. So well, that's not from this truck. <laughs> Must have been uh, part of a drive shaft from something else. A couple screws, stuff like that. But basically, the reason why this one's apart, uh, a friend of mine, his kid has one of these too. And he's got the, the Hummer. Um, it's like a search and rescue looking thing. Uh, and it's pretty done up pretty good. But uh, what am I missing here? Well, I'm missing some arms and stuff. Uh, his truck was missing some parts. <coughs> Sorry again. And uh, show and tell was coming up, so he borrowed some parts, but um, I never got him back. So I might have enough parts to fix this thing again, but I gotta find out this bell housing setup thing here for the steering. Because I'm missing a part for this uh, tie rod to hook onto. Get the steering right, and then I gotta put a screw in there. Um, servo will normally sit down in here. There's a mount for it, I believe so. Turnbuckle set up. Oh, yeah, okay. So there's a hole there, and there's a slot there, and it uses uh, servo, or, yeah, servo holders. It sits there, the servo sits sideways. Should have been a horn for it, and everything. Yeah, horn's actually in here horns in there. Oh, here's the other half of that. That's why that part's missing. It's half broken out. I gotta see if I got the part for it. I got uh, a bunch of spare parts trees. Battery goes in here. There's another holder. Um, this is four-wheel drive. I don't know how well you can see this drive shaft here. It move. They are slightly out of round, and I thought that that was kind of weird, but 
<coughs> was an upgrade to put a shaft in here instead of this wire thing. But apparently a lot of people don't like it. It uh, gets some weird balance at high RPMs. Here's where you would mount a servo and then you'd have a mechanical speed controller up on top here but there's no way I'm putting mechanicals in there. Uh, so the motor mounts in be here behind this wheel into there and so it drives off the pinion which drives this and drives the back wheels at the same time. It's a uh, it's quite a marvel how they direct power to go where. So here's some parts trees like you can still find some of these on eBay because they share those TA012 chassis. So there's a cover like for diff and a cover for this one here, part of the transmission. Um, what I used, what did I use on here? Number two, whatever that is. Then there's a number, part number one. I can't remember what that is. Oh. I believe these other two are the same. So maybe I do have a part here. But on here, there's a uh, shock ring holders. Uh, here's that upper part that goes across the shocks. Uh, there's a zip tie holding this one here. There's one of the little teeth uh, on the underside of the body. There's parts here for front A arm suspension. There's one of those servo holder blocks. Uh, tie rod ends. Hmm. I used 18, 19, 15, and 11 off of these. And I believe this one's missing almost the same parts. Uh, pretty much, yeah. So I'm assuming I had to buy a whole parts tree once again to find uh, one or two parts on there. Um, I noticed today I was, I was on a Facebook group and there's a guy looking for a single gear and a guy linked him to uh, eBay auction. Seven dollars free shipping for the whole uh, wall and stuff of parts tree. It was a parts bag with the gear in it and everything. and. Uh, it's part of an assembly of gears and uh, from what I take the guy just did not want to pay for it he was wanting somebody to give it to him for free might not have been his actual intention but that's kind of what the vibe I got from it and uh, you're uh, gonna spend seven dollars to purchase an item that you can use the spare parts for. It's not like the parts were for a different RC or something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wind up. Yeah, there, now I'm lined up. There, we're back together. Like if, uh, you know, I was buying, you know, a parts tree, and oh, that part worked for this, but everything else on here didn't, that'd be a little different, but that'd be a desperate times. But uh, no, I think Buddy just did not want to pay for it, and that's what it turned out to be. And uh, if I could, uh, for more money, like hard to find ones, if it takes a single part off a parts tree or parts bag, sometimes that's what it takes. But unlike that guy up in the background there, I found the parts tree for it, but they wanted $70 plus $30 shipping. That didn't happen. I'll tell you about that when I go through that guy. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.